In this video, we'll be talking about how to handle bit-level addressing in ProSoft Technology Modbus communication modules and gateways that use ProSoft Configuration Builder. This is intended as a supplement for our lineup of product training videos that walk you through the full configuration process. With that in mind, the memory in ProSoft communication modules are comprised of 4,000 to 10,000 register addresses, each one representing a 16-bit word of data. So word addressing would be from 0 to 3,999 for one of our products that has 4,000 words of memory. The internal addressing works slightly different for bits, also known as bools or coils. Bit level addressing will be from 0 to 63,999. That is how bits are addressed. It's as simple as that. If you address a command to read words 0 and 1, you will read the first two 16-bit words in memory. If, however, you address a command to read bit 0 and 1, you will read the first two bits in memory. In practice, you may sometimes need to figure out what word address contains the bits that you're reading or writing. Bit addresses can be stacked together in groups of 16, forming the equivalent of single words in the database. So for instance, if you wanted to read a single bit and return it to bit address 32 in your module, it will actually be placed in the first bit of the third word in the module database. If you then wanted to read a 16-bit integer of data into the module, you would have to return it to the fourth word in the memory so as not to overwrite the first bit in the third word. We recommend that you place your binary data at the start of your read and write data address ranges as this makes it easier to work with. Leaving a few unused words between your binary data and integer data for future expansion is also a good idea. If you've inherited a project that does not use this practice, you may find yourself having to map binary data to higher addresses in the ProSoft Communication Module's internal memory. In this case, you would select a word address you want to use and multiply it by 16 to get the bit level address of the first bit in that word. To convert a bit level address back to its word address location, just divide it by 16. This Excel spreadsheet is available from our website and helps make the process of converting bit addresses and 16-bit word addresses back and forth very simple. When using our modules, you will need to set a read area and a write area in memory. If the write data starts at word address 2000 and you want to get a bit level address of that first word, you would multiply 2,000 by 16 to get 32,000. And that is the first bit in the first word of my write data section. And that's how you handle bit level addressing in the majority of ProSoft Technology communication modules. We will have a separate video for binary addressing in the MVI 56E MCM, which is only slightly different than what we cover here. We also have short supplemental training videos on how to map 32-bit data types with our modules, and how data is stored and organized in the internal databases of our modules. If you have any other questions, you can contact our technical support. Thank you for watching.